Hey everyone, welcome back. This is The Gerbil and this is the Galactic Challenge that Ewok fans like me have been waiting for for a long time. Now I beat it achieving all feats first time and then I went back and did it with a, an orthodox Ewok squad using Tebow and Ewok Scout and beat it again. Now my Ewoks are very high relic, my Scout and Tebow are relic 3, the rest are all 7. But this is very achievable I think with probably as low as gear 12 even at tier 10. If you have high enough speed mods and correct turn order and you follow the advice I'm about to give, I think that this will really help. And it is not the same as what you're gonna hear on a lot of other sites where a lot of really amazing players are making some big mistakes with their Ewoks. Now, here we go, let's explain. The global modifier says that all units are gonna gain this part of the tribe special ability that when they trigger it you get different outcomes for different roles so an attacker like scout or wicket are going to give everybody defense penetration up which is worthless for ewoks and assist dealing 50 percent less damage which is worthless for most ewoks as they already hit very weak now you're just guaranteeing that they don't do anything however chirpa's lead will give them 20 percent turn meter now compare that though to the healer support that's going to give everyone 30 percent turn meter and the attacker one just sounds kind of worthless however your proper turn order you really want Poplu to go first and it's, I actually recommend starting off with his ability because it gives him taunt which he needs and then it gives everyone else foresight to protect them and crit immunity if you're not outrunning already the troopers by speed. So I've, I've seen a lot of people say just only use this on Wicket on his special ability and I'm going to say wrong do not do that. All right, the player modifier is gonna give your Ewoks 20% speed. Again, Ewoks are about speed. If you think or try to mod them for damage, you're playing them wrong. Or I'm gonna say you're playing them wrong. Everybody should play the way you enjoy, but they're not a powerful squad for damage output. They're going to win by like the Zergling swarm from StarCraft. You just got to hit over and over and over and over and over again enough times. So the 20% speed is really helpful. And then when they counter strike, Chirpus Lead gives them another 20% turn meter. That's really going to help a lot. The endless ranks on the Empire roll basically just means that you need to kill General Veers three times when this match starts. Just go straight after General Veers, knock him down three times, and then the rest of it is just kind of mop up. So let's jump into this and I'll show you my my two and only two runs I've made today um, and the first one is like I said all feats achieved uh, there's there's um, get 10 uh, evade evade 10 tax which is so easy with log rate giving everyone foresight or pop loop using that special giving everyone foresight lucky stack at 30 critical hits again Ewoks are about hitting a bajillion times so that's just gonna happen win with all Ewoks and I didn't even see the other feet in there it just I, I triggered it first time so here's the my typical lineup it's chirpa lead log rate Ewok elder pop loop and wicked and like I said we're gonna open up with that special because it's going to give everyone foresight and it's going to give him taunt and we got a lucky trigger there. Now Wicked, you just saw him do his AoE. That's another, his AoE and his second special are both more important for him as an attacker than calling everyone in to do 50% less damage. And that's because when Wicked's AoE achieves a critical hit, it's going to give everyone 10%, so a turn meter. So he has by its nature the chance of feeding 50% turn meter to everyone. So if you have the choice of using the event special or his AoE attack, you want the AoE attack. I mean 50% turn meter to the whole squad or 20%. I mean it's kind of a no-brainer. Now Lagre has to daze the enemies. You have to daze the enemies. You have to daze the enemies. So there's a million ways you could open up if you don't have Poplu going first, but I highly recommend it to get the taunt on. And if you don't want to trigger that special yet, then the alternative is to call Chief Chirpa immediately to assist, even though that is usually used to remove debuffs. Go ahead and call Chirpa to assist with his second special. When Chirpa attacks, it's going to take him to 100% turn meter. Have him do his AoE, which will give your Ewok speed up, everybody else 20% turn meter, which is going to guarantee that the rest of your Ewoks at this point are going to take a turn before the Empire. So then you have Law Grade days everybody. Now, some other advice I've already seen online is everybody's saying to use Wicked's second ability that, that uh, 
can't remember the name of it right now. The one that calls a targeted assist and puts them in stealth. They tend to put that on Ewok Elder. And I'm gonna say that's also probably a mistake in this instance. Normally, yeah, you wanna protect Ewok Elder because when he dies, the team dies. As long as Ewok Elder's alive, your Ewoks have a viable shot to win this. But I'm gonna say no. Do not call Ewok Elder to assist and put him in stealth. What you need to do is remember two things. All basic attacks give 20% turn meter to that unit due to Chirpa's leadership. And the second one is that Chirpa himself, if the target he's attacking has over half turn meter, then he's gonna gain a buttload of turn meter. I think it's 25% or 30%, I, I don't recall. So let's suppose uh, the in Empire enemies, actually, no, just not suppose. You basically want to only be calling in Chirpa or Lagre. Uh, because if you call Lagre, you're guaranteeing to give him 20% turn meter. When Lagre does his prophetic visions, he gives everybody 20% turn meter. When Ewok Elder or or your uh, Chirpa use the the uh, special ability from the event, it gives everyone 20% turn meter. When Ewok Elder uses a basic, he has, I think, a 60% chance to give everybody 25% turn meter. So you see in a pattern here. The, the idea is that you want to just inevitably take more turns than the enemy by a magnitude. And I mean 10, 15, 20 attacks to one. And you can achieve that uh, by removing turn meter like Lagre just did and by manipulating the order of which Ewok goes by using Poplu's assists, Chirpa's mass assist, uh, Wicket's targeted assist, and then Chirpa's leadership abilities of the 20% through the assist, his AOE, the, the global AOE giving him 20%, and on and on and on. I mean, it, it is a maddening amount of turn meter that these guys can take. Um, so obviously this one is a walk. You, you saw how, how straightforward that was. And again, it was never using the attacker wicket to apply the, the special from this event. You just do not want that there. I mean, fundamentally, you only want your support healers to use it, to feed that turn meter, more turn meter. It's all about turn meter. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit fast forward and move on to the next one where we can see winning without Poplu and without Ewok Elder. So here we go. I've already achieved all feats, but now we're going to do this with a much weaker squad using the two less popular Ewoks. I, I played around and thought about throwing Tebow in here, but then I got thinking, no, 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 no. Chirpa is just way too valuable with his mass assist and um, and Tebow is a tank. So we also lose his ability to use that that global AOE to call ever, uh, to give everyone a 30% turn meter. So stick with Chirpa on the lead, but Tebow and Scout instead of Poplu and Elder. Now, in this situation, we're gonna backpedal a little bit on what I said before. See, Scout hits pretty hard, but not super hard. See, that was a special only hit for 8,000. It was like, eh, not such a big deal. So this is one of those opportunities where actually Scout is gonna be uh, somebody who can consistently use the event special ability to call in everybody to assist. Now, it's not epic, but it turns out it's quite viable. Um, Scout is also a turn meter removal unit. So where, as I have been saying, that the objective with these Ewoks is to outrun or outpace your enemy. When you put in Tebow and Scout, you now have another tool under your belt in that Scout can remove 50% of the turn meter on his basic from the target. So you wanna mod him with potency. And then Tebow can remove 100% of the turn meter when he's under stealth. How does he get under stealth? His first special ability gives everyone 100% turn meter. See, outrunning the enemy but it also puts him under stealth for I think two or three turns, I don't recall. And then, like we just saw, 
Wicked can target uh, Tebow to put him under stealth, which of course that target assist gives Tebow 20% turn meter, and you target the enemy with the most turn meter, dropping them back down to 100. So through the manipulation of the enemy's turn meter of Scout and Tebow, I actually found this lineup to be a lot easier and a lot faster. Um, it took quite a bit less time, I think. I need to go back and look at the clocks. But I definitely think that this was a faster and easier line to victory than the traditional mainstream five Ewoks. Um, I don't see the need for a tank in this matchup at all. I mean, yeah, Tebow's a tank, but he doesn't taunt. He, he goes into stealth, so go figure. That's kind of it's weird. Um, but Scout in this one is, is quite useful because, again, he can use the global AoE attack. Um, not super effective, but whatever. It pumps turn meter out to everyone. And uh, when he does use his special, which has a cooldown of two, so it happens frequently, it calls an assist and the Chirpa calls an assist like we just saw there. It was just like whack, whack, whack with Wicked happening. So that was pretty cool. So you do get a lot more attack value out of it. You do get more turn meter rolling through because Poplu just doesn't give you any turn meter. So Scout actually makes the whole team a heck of a lot faster in this event than Tebow will. And since Ewoks win with speed, that's the path you need. All right, I'll just let this play out. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if there's something you want to see. Hit that like button uh, if you enjoyed it. It really does mean a lot to me. And uh, take care out there and yub nub on.